In today's video, I am going to share with you a bunch of recipes, including pickles fermented on the sun. Welcome back finally <laughs> I have a fresh video for you so I had a tooth extraction on the back and I got some complication it's called a dry socket so I was in so much pain but as I was getting better and better I started to record so this is going to be snippets from here and there and what you saw me doing that was granola and I will have the recipe down below I mean recipe ish <laughs> I just I didn't measure the things but it turned out so good and this is what I put top of the coconut yogurt that I love <laughs> I'm just laughing now as I'm doing the voiceover because I realized I just started out with a sweet thing at the beginning and and I shared that recipe and now I'm sharing a toothpaste recipe so here's a good balance for you <laughs> here's a resolution and uh, I've been making toothpaste over a decade and I stopped doing it for a while because it was just really complicated to use it from the jar but finally it occurred to me that, that I can use this silicone um, tubes and it's been working so well I love this so much so I got back to the swing of making the toothpaste again So the following day I did a little bit of a gardening, not much because mostly I needed rest and I, I followed that. But I also realized if I'm up and doing just a little bit, something that is easy but it makes me happy, it actually helps to speed up the process of healing because I just feel better inside my soul. It, this is what feeds my soul when I can do things. This is something my husband loves so much and for myself I made some zucchini cheese so it's a dairy free option and I will link this recipe down below as well. I made this previously a lot and it's still my favorite. It is very easy to chew and it's very nourishing also as you guys have seen previously <laughs> I shared this many times but this is a meatball that half is vegetable the half is meat so it's also it's very easy to eat and I made some wild rice with some jasmine rice I also cooked some potatoes and I sliced them so it will be very convenient when I want to eat them the day has come when I felt like I'm getting out of the woods I see the light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> I started to feel better mm, maybe 80 percent ish so not 100 percent but I definitely felt like finally I'm healing So 
so finally I'm able to speak a little bit not much <laughs> I am going to prepare a bunch of food so these are all the nuts that I'm going to use some walnut peanut uh, pecan almond cashew and I got some coconut chips that are toasted and, and it has some coconut nectar on it and these are the dried fruits so I'm going to have some unsweet and dried cherries and um, cranberries and apple and goji berries and blueberries so these are that i'm going to use to share with you how to make this fermented pickles and the first thing that I like to do is to use some salt to scrub the cucumbers and I'm starting to warm up some water with some salt and meanwhile I am done with this board and it is so good you guys this is a peanut one that my husband even texted from work that this is so good <laughs> he liked it so much I mean everything with peanuts tastes so good but with the fire berry combo it just really complements each other so back to the pickles I'm going to ferment them on the Sun and first of all so I'm just going to clean it and then after that I'm going to cut them in a special way and that step it's very important because I'm going to cut it so make sure it can ferment evenly everywhere meanwhile I have the other granola is done this is something that we like to use on top of uh, some coconut yogurt so the cutting is you cut on one half and then you turn it to the other side and cut it again so I don't know how much you can see that so it looks tricky at first <laughs> but once you get the hang of it it's very easy to do and that will allow to get the fermentation everywhere and also you can still have the pickles in one piece so it looks really nice and appetizing that way so I'm used I used some garlic and some dill and that's basically the two main ingredients and the salty water and on the top I am going to use some bread that has some yeast in it I used the gluten-free one so when you fill it up with the water make sure it's not boiling hot I mean it has to be really warm but not boiling hot otherwise your pickle won't be your pickles won't be crunchy so once I have the bread on the top and the best um, time to do this in the morning and when you have a nice weather so maybe checking the weather it doesn't hurt <laughs> and um, so the sun will warm it up and the yeast will have 
to ferment these cucumbers. I also had some parsley that was started to going bad so I just ground it up and I used this heart shape not because of the shape just because of the size it's perfect so once it's frozen I can put them into bag and put them back into the freezer and sometimes when I need it I can just grab one so it's like about one teaspoon so today is the next day and usually for the night i take it inside just because we get lots of squirrels and all kinds of creatures here but this is how it's supposed to look like so as you can see it's more foggy and bubbling so this one is definitely fermenting so this is gonna be good this one looks uh more clear however this is what i made later on so we'll see it can still you know catch up so this is what the fermenting process is, warming it up on the sun and then let it chill at night. So this temperature changing and the warmth from the sunshine and the bread, that this is what ferments this pickles. Okay, so I moved to this spot because of the afternoon we have more sun here. It's getting foggy, it's bubbling. The cucumbers are turning this dark-ish green, but still has a bright color, so it's not done. So today is kind of chilly in the morning especially, and we didn't, we're not going to have that much sunshine anymore, and it's not going to be hot. So we're going to have 80s, but not 90s. So I thought I'm just going to pop it in the ooh, oven on 200 degrees so not higher just 200 and then I'm going to warm it up a little because the key with this um, type of fermenting is to heat it up and cool it off so that's why we need the Sun and I'm fermenting some sauerkraut and I have some sourdough that I'm working on and I still have some cucumbers, so I think I'm going to make another batch because I find another jar. <laughs> okay, so I just bought them in. This is the latest that I made today. And as you can tell the difference, it, this is more foggy, it's not as clear than this one. And then I will put it out in the morning again. If it okay, today is the last day the third day for this too no this too it's nice and bubbly so two of them is done one needs more time and when you see the water is low you might want to add some water so make sure there's no air it has to be filled up with water so this two I am going to put them into this jar So this is how it should be look like when it's done so the color is darker not as bright green and it's slightly like glassish looking <laughs> the pico and but it's still crunchy mmm it's just crunchy this is good mmm mmm 